This uh, tutorial is going to look at uh, wrapping the box. It's a slightly more detailed wrap. We'll start just by positioning the box in the center of the paper template that we're going to create. And I've drawn a line and now I'm scoring it. And so this is setting up uh, the first fold on the box. Um, and it's good to just do this progressively with the box marking off the box <coughs> rather than doing direct measurements and transfers using rulers because you'll get more precise sort of markings this way and if your box is a little out of square it will be okay. So we've tr transferred a second set of marks and now we're going to do a second score and so now we've got the two long sides along the bottom scored and folded um, and just take your time be precise. Uh, it's a good idea to use uh, just a simple piece of paper um, to create a template first. Um, using the final piece of paper there's a chance you could make a mistake with a cut um, and this way everything's spot on. So now that we've got the two sides set up we're gonna measure the height and sort of set the box where we've got enough material to go up the side over the edge and down into the box about half an inch or say two centimeters. So it's nice and tight on the bottom. We're gonna mark it and now we're gonna score it. So we're gonna score the whole edge and then we're gonna make some cuts and the cuts are specifically for the flaps that are going to fold up. So we're going to cut right to the corner. And the long side is going to be the, the edge that's going to be exposed. And we're going to create some flaps that fold into that. So first we'll cut the edge that runs up the side. And then We'll do the same on the other side. And now we'll cut the flaps. And I'm putting in a 45 degree cut here just so that there's no interaction when it folds over. Uh, sometimes that can if it's not if you don't have that 45, it can it can crush against the bottom. So this makes for a cleaner, sort of more compact fold. And so now we have a tab. do the same thing on the other side. Cut a 45. And I'm really just eyeballing the width of the tab. I want them to be all about equal, but since they'll be hidden, um, it's not critical that you necessarily measure this out, although they will telegraph a bit through the paper, um, especially if your paper is somewhat thin. Now I'm just going to finish off this fold, rub the bone along the back edge, fold off the uh, two tabs, now I check it. So you can see the, the end folds up, the tabs fold in, and then the sides fold up over that. And now we have a nice neat, neat and clean sort of first three sides set up. So we make sure it's nice and snug. Now we're going to mark the next two ends for the next fold. We're going to just mark the two corner points. Um, I find having points rather than lines easier to sort of establish where a fold will be. And remember, you always want to go just a hair outside of this, of the two marks. And so once you've got it where you want it, score it. I just soften the fold a little bit and now we're going to do the exact same thing we did before where we're going to cut the exposed edges of the long sides. Going right down to that corner 
then we're going to cut the tabs. Again, cutting 45s. And we're not concerned with the uh, the length of the sides, other than that, that we want to make sure that it's long enough that it can wrap around the edges. Okay, so this is all set. It should be, it should fit nice and tightly around the box. No real um, bulging edges. Um, you know, the two things you want to avoid are basically a loose fit or an overly tight fit where it's it's sort of not wrapping comfortably around the box. And so now that we've got this all set up, we put the sides up with the flaps in and put the other sides up. And you can see it's all nice and tight and clean. Looks good.